We'd all like to take better care of our teeth and many of us will use mouthwashes or the like to kill oral bacteria which are responsible for tooth decay and gum inflammation. Wouldn't it be nice if there were an effective and natural alternative to heavy chemical mouthwashes? Well, of course there is. Oregano oil, or oregano oil as I say, I'm going to say oregano from here in because I'm too old and I can't change my ways. Anyway, specific constituent components of oregano oil, including carvacrol, appear to be exactly that. Carvacrol and other elements of essential oils have clearly displayed antimicrobial activity against 25 different phytopathogenic bacteria and strains, including Streptococcus mutans, the main bacteria understood to cause tooth decay. So in this video, I'll quickly mention some of the research literature showing how effective the oil is, how to use the oil in our oral hygiene routine, the one possible drawback of oregano oil, and also the reason we might not want to be using mouthwash. And check the chapter indicators at the bottom of the video if you want to jump ahead. So let's get on with it. This study published last year investigated several ways in which the oregano oil component interferes with the bacteria's growth and also inhibited its cariogenic virulence or in other words, its ability to cause tooth decay. They concluded that the combined effects of the various components in oregano oil may be able to greatly reduce microbial resistance. This study from a couple of years ago, published in the International Journal of Dentistry and Oral Science, shows very similar results and includes images like this one of the effect the oregano oil had on the decay-causing bacteria. Initially, the Petri dish would have been completely covered with cavity-causing Streptococcus mutans, shown as the white culture at the bottom right of the dish. But here, after application of the oregano oil, the dish has been almost completely cleared of the bacteria. Other studies show that the oil drastically reduces the pathogenic bacteria in their planktonic state, which means when they are freely flowing around the mouth, and also when they are in a biofilm state, meaning they are attached to teeth as part of a polysaccharide matrix that would normally protect them to some degree against normal toothpaste, for example. Not to mention, the oil has also shown efficacy in reducing oral gingivitis, as reported in this paper. So those are just three of the papers I wanted to mention the most. But I've probably looked at around 30 research papers from over the years, and it's fair to say, they pretty much universally conclude that oregano oil is a very powerful antimicrobial agent, whether it's for use in oral health or on skin to fight bacterial and fungal infections, among others. And incidentally, it's not just oregano oil. Thyme oil and cinnamon oil have also been proven to be very effective treatments, and combinations of all three could be even more effective. So how do we use oregano oil in our oral hygiene routine? Well, you can pick up some oregano oil at most health food shops or anywhere that sells essential oils. In my experience, oregano oil usually comes mixed with a carrier oil, such as olive oil. Most people would simply put a drop or two on a bare toothbrush. Two if you're game, as it's very spicy. As for me, I actually wet the toothbrush dab the brush in a heap of bicarb, and then put the drop or two of oregano oil on top. And strike me purple, you might feel like there's a battle going on inside. Though it will feel terrific afterwards, so hey, what have you got to lose? Good luck. But seriously, I've been using the oil around three times a week for about 10 years, and I'd have to say my oral health has very much improved during that time. And here's a little trick for dental problems. If we have an infected tooth and can't get to the dentist for a few days, then brushing oregano oil on the offending tooth 
can help quell the pain by entering a cavity and killing the bacteria around the nerves causing the pain. It can be very effective, but don't let it delay your visit to the dentist. And a quick word on bicarb. Bicarb does not whiten teeth. Don't pay extra money for a toothpaste that proudly announces it contains bicarb. But it does clean very well. I use bicarb mostly because it's a strong alkaline and will raise the pH of your mouth. In other words, it reduces the acidity that bacteria thrive in. You'll find that many holistic dentists promote brushing or gargling with bicarb before bed because it can make the whole mouth less acid overnight, hence reducing tooth decay that way. Well, there you go. What do you have to lose? Bacteria, I guess. The bad ones. But what about the good ones? We don't want to go killing the good bacteria as well, do we? That's a really important question. Killing bad bacteria might be a goal, but nowadays we understand better that many bacteria perform important functions within the body and in the mouth. I've searched for evidence of negative effects of Carvacrol, but haven't been able to find a thing. So I have no real concerns at this point. But you know what might have negative effects? Mouthwash. And in case you didn't know, Mouthwashes containing chlorhexidine have now been associated with cardiovascular disease. It seems the mouthwash products kill the good bacteria that reduce nitrate to nitrite in the mouth that goes on to be converted to nitric oxide in the gut, the substance that stimulates vasodilation of blood vessels. It helps loosen and expand blood vessels to mediate blood pressure. Well, there is a correlation between mouthwash use and increased risk of heart disease and heart attacks because it raises blood pressure. This is covered in this article published in the International Dental Journal. And please let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make a full video on this mouthwash topic. Well, I gotta go see a man about a dog again. So thank you for watching. If you found this information interesting, then please consider booping the like button and subscribing to the channel. And have a beaut day. I'll see you in the next video.